from the mean streets of New York to the bustling city of Chicago, these powerful syndicates have left an indelible mark on American history. Their iron grip on illicit activities has shaped the underworld and captivated our imaginations for decades. Behind every iconic name, a family dynasty thrives, with its roots reaching back to the era of prohibition and beyond. Today, we unveil the shadowy characters, their blood-stained legacies, and the chilling tales that continue to echo through the corridors of power. Join us as we journey deep into the underbelly of organized crime, exploring the inner workings of the most feared mafia families currently active in the United States. The Gambino family, known for its long-standing reign as the most formidable mafia group, has recently been at the center of two major incidents that have captured media attention. The first event that made headlines was the long-awaited release of Gene Gotti, the brother of the notorious John Gotti, who had served a lengthy prison sentence for his involvement in drug trafficking several years ago. Gene's release in September 2018 ignited speculations of an imminent mafia clash as many wondered whether he would attempt to assert his influence within the family. The second incident that sent shockwaves through the criminal underworld was the shocking murder of Frank Cali, the influential street boss of the Gambino family. On March 13, 2019, Cali was tragically gunned down, although the motive behind his killing had nothing to do with the mafia business. Surprisingly, he fell victim to a young man named Anthony Camello in an unrelated and unexpected confrontation. This unsettling event seemed to evoke memories of the notorious era when the Gambino family was at the height of its power and infamy. Currently, the family is under the leadership of Domenico Little Dom Cefalo, who has been semi-retired for the past four years. However, Jean Gotti, well aware that his family name attracts constant scrutiny from state and federal authorities, remains an enigmatic figure. His intentions regarding the family's power dynamics remain undisclosed, leaving many to wonder if he harbors aspirations of seizing control. While the Gambino family's influence may have waned over time, it still commands considerable sway, with connections in local construction and a diverse range of industries spanning both traditional blue-collar sectors and modern information age crimes. Given the current power vacuum, the battle for dominance over the Gambino family is expected to intensify in the coming years, fueling fierce competition among ambitious contenders. While it may be uncommon for the Mafia to resort to internal bloodshed in contemporary society, the struggle for control over such a prestigious criminal empire could potentially escalate into a fully-fledged street war. Whoever ultimately assumes the mantle of leadership within the family, it is unlikely that everyone within the organization will be content, leading to a dangerous web of internal conflicts and power struggles that could have far-reaching consequences. Amidst the recent surge of media attention on the notorious Gambino family, the Genovese family cunningly identifies an opportunity to flourish in the criminal underworld. While the Gambinos predominantly engage in overt illicit ventures such as narcotics, the Genovese family astutely diversifies their revenue streams. They allocate substantial sums of capital to the practice of bookmaking, an artful strategy of accepting wagers on a multitude of events, thereby securing a constant influx of profits, is their remarkable capacity to smoothly transition leadership roles without succumbing to internal discord. In stark contrast to other Mafia clans plagued by incessant power struggles, the Genovese family perpetuates a more harmonious environment during the shifting of power. This unique characteristic enables them to steadily expand their operations 
and proliferate discreetly while maintaining a low profile. As the Gambino family grapples with their internal tribulations, the Genovese family adeptly seizes the opportunity to ascend to the pinnacle of the Mafia hierarchy once more. Currently governed by their acting boss, Liborio Bellomo, a seasoned stalwart of the organization, the Genovese family's rise to power is a testament to their resilience. Initially handpicked by the esteemed Chin, Belomo endured a decade-long imprisonment, yet managed to reclaim his authoritative position upon his release in 2008. Assuming control from the incarcerated Danny Leo, Belomo's reinstatement underscores the Genovese family's unwavering strength. Nevertheless, they preferred to shroud themselves in secrecy, clandestinely conducting their illicit affairs behind the scenes. This covert modus operandi shields them from unwanted scrutiny. By remaining inconspicuous, the Genovese family cements their reputation as an indomitable force within the realm of organized crime. The notorious mafia organization, the Colombo family, is currently undergoing a momentous transformation following the prolonged dominance of their imprisoned leader, Carmino the Snake Persico. After an impressive reign spanning four decades, Persico's time finally came to an end with his passing last year, while still serving his sentence behind bars. However, true to his insatiable thirst for power, Persico had anticipated this transition and made a calculated move by appointing his son, Alleyboy Persico, as the acting boss. Despite sharing the same life sentence as his father, Ali Boy was chosen to uphold the family's control and preserve their dynastic power structure. The concept of an acting boss from within the confines of a prison may appear peculiar at first glance, but given the circumstances, it was a logical decision. The Colombo family firmly believes in maintaining power within their bloodline, even if it means their designated leader is confined to a correctional facility. Alongside the acting boss, the Colombo family also boasts a street boss named Andrew Russo, more commonly known as Andy Mush. While factions within the family still exist, they are presently not engaged in any active conflicts or internal wars, bringing immense relief to the Colombo family, instilling a deep understanding of the inherent dangers such conflicts pose. This pivotal moment signifies a significant turning point for the Colombo family as they navigate a new era. The passing of Carmino Persico has unlocked opportunities for change and adaptation within the organization. Only time will reveal how this shift in power dynamics will shape the future of the Colombo family and influence their operational strategies. The Bonanno family, at present, maintains a slightly larger scale compared to the Colombo family, although it remains significantly smaller than the influential Gambino family. Overseeing the operations of the Bonanno organization is their leader, Michael Mancuso, who possesses a notorious and checkered history. Michael Mancuso, who is now the boss of the Bonanno family, was convicted of a heinous crime back in 1984 he was found guilty of murdering his wife. As a result, he served a sentence of 10 years in prison. However, his criminal activities did not end there. In 2006, Mancuso pleaded guilty to another murder that was linked to organized crime and received a 15-year sentence. Surprisingly, he was released from prison on March 12, 2019. Throughout their history, the Bonanno family has always had a close relationship with the Gambino family. This bond has benefited the Bonannos significantly. However, it is not as common these days for the two Mafia families to work together closely due to various factors. In November 2017, several members from both the Bonanno and Gambino families were charged with crimes related to narcotics trafficking and loan sharking in an FBI sting operation. 
This event showcased that collaborations between the two families still occur, albeit less frequently than before. Despite the legal troubles faced by some members, the Bonanno family seems to have a promising future. Mancuso's son, Joseph Camarano Jr., was acquitted of racketeering and extortion charges in March 2019, which is a positive development for the family. Additionally, the consigliere, John Porky Zancoccio, was also acquitted in the same case. With their upper echelon now consisting of free individuals, the Bonanno family will likely continue to prosper. The Lucchese crime family was formed a long time ago and has been active for nearly a century. That's a very long period. Despite facing many difficulties, they have managed to endure by excelling in covert operations and staying hidden, just like those intriguing figures in spy films. Interestingly, other crime families, like the Gambino and Genovese families, have historically attracted more attention from the FBI. But things have changed recently. The Lucchese family is feeling the heat, and it's not because of some sunny vacation destination. Since 2017, more than 30 members and associates of the Lucchese family have been caught in federal sting operations. That's a lot of people. The head honcho, known as Little Vic Amuso, has been in prison since way back in 1992. He holds the record for being the longest reigning boss of the family. That's quite an accomplishment, even if it's not exactly a legal one. The Lucchese family has divided its operations into different groups, called crews, and they have quite the territory. They control significant areas in places like Long Island, Manhattan, the Bronx, and even New Jersey. It's like they've marked their turf all over the place. But with Amuso behind bars, he had to appoint someone to run things in his absence. He chose Big Mike DeSantis as the acting boss, which is a pretty important position. And you know what's even more interesting? The second in command, known as the underboss, is Stephen Wonderboy Crea. Crea and his son, Stephen Jr., they got a little message from Amuso in 2017 informing them about the new boss and giving them a friendly warning. Amuzo said, cooperate with DeSantis or else. And you can bet that or else means something pretty serious, like getting permanently removed from the picture. So, even though the Lucchese family has had its ups and downs, they're still going strong. They've managed to survive and thrive by being masters of secrecy expanding their influence, and making sure everyone plays by the rules of their twisted game. As the underworld evolves and power dynamics shift, the future of these notorious mafia families hangs in the balance. Internal conflicts, power struggles, and fierce competition for control paint a thrilling picture of the mafia landscape. Only time will unveil the destinies of these criminal organizations as they leave a legacy that both fascinates and horrifies the world. If you enjoyed the video and want to explore more content related to organized crime and its impact on society, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads.